Logic Pro 11.1 just dropped with a host of new cool features, some workflow enhancements, tons of fixes, and some juicy bits related to spatial audio and Dolby Atmos. Let's take a look. Greetings, I am Pat, or as a comment said in a previous video, this guy. And I help labels and artists with their Atmos and spatial audio needs so they can reach more fans and make more money. And today we're diving into the brand new Logic Pro 11.1 update. Let's jump right in. This has been something that has been requested and hoped for for years. Now it is finally here. We can reorder channel strips directly in the mixer window. Yes! Not that big of a deal, but anything that can help with an easier and faster workflow, I'm all in for. Looking for a particular plugin? No more digging through menus. Just click on the plugin slot and voila, right there. Search bar where you can quickly get to the plug you need, fast. And if you want to remove that, or several ones by just selecting them, you can command click and poof, they're gone. You can also search for and assign buses and outputs and remove them with that command click move. Just great. To be honest, I still use a third party plugin called Plug Search, not sponsored by the way. Uh, and it works like a charm. I have been using it for a while. And it is basically Logic's search functionality on steroids and more. But regardless, this new feature is a great workflow speeder upper. Little bit of an outlier this one, but quite important for my workflow. I regularly use track stacks and VCAs to control and make tiny balance adjustments of sections, say a horn section um, of an Atmos mix. So I'll just have some VCAs that control the uh, trombones, another that control the trumpets, etc. Same for strings, you catch my drift. So all these separate VCAs, I will assign another separate VCA to control them. So can I, I, so I can adjust all their levels together. Well, that was not working. Now, and I'll quote Apple's release notes, the VCA fader for a newly created folder stack that reuses an existing VCA now immediately controls the volume of the stack as expected. Thank you, Apple. A tiny fix that makes a big difference. On the uh, subject of outliers, but also oh important, is the fix on Apple Silicon Max dragging or copying a third party audio unit to a different slot in the mixer no longer causes its window to unexpectedly open. It was so annoying, but now it's gone. Tiny helpful little bit as well is the inclusion of the I.O. buffer size in the customization options of the control bar and display right under the project sample rate. It's always good to have that info right in front of you. Helps with troubleshooting as well, but I also find it very useful when you are mixing high I.O. buffer setting and need to record a little some, something really quick, low I.O. buffer setting. You can now do that so much faster. Another workflow speeder upper is the ability to finally bounce in place different regions per track, something that you could not do all at once. It would make them one file, one track, which is still an option, by the way, but it wasn't working if you wanted to export stems or tracks. And if you combine that with the little killer tip to use the marquee tool to select the whole section, you've just sped up the multi-track export and stem export processes by quite a bit. If you are enjoying the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps a lot. Thank you.
On the spatial audio Atmos front, no new features really, but a couple of fixes that are biggies. Tracks converted to 3D objects in a spatial audio project now remain in sync as expected. And software instrument tracks now reliably play in sync in spatial audio projects. Man, these two have been the culprit of many producers and creators using Logic Pro to stay away from experimenting with Atmos and Spatial Audio. What can I say? It was annoying. Well, no more. Now something that I noticed, but could very likely be confirmation bias, is the improved performance of the renderer. Previously, the renderer could be a bit of a bottleneck, causing slowdowns and impacting your workflow. Objects behaved weird, many times getting out of sync, as I mentioned a little earlier. Playing with it a bit this past couple of days, I have noticed, I, I don't know, better responsiveness? Definitely seems smoother, though. Beyond the headline features, Logic Pro 11.1 introduces some workflow tweaks that make life easier for all users and for Atmos mixers and producers. These might seem little minor things, but they add up to a more efficient and streamlined Atmos producing and mixing experience. Overall, Logic Pro 11.1 is a solid update and you should consider upgrading. You need to be on a Mac made in or after 2018 and running Sonoma 14 and up. The sync fixes and improved renderer performance are wins for sure. If you are using Logic Pro for your Atmos projects, definitely consider updating to 11.1. And in case you need a new Mac, here are a couple you should consider too.